Hello there, everybody. This is GNS Legend here, and right now I just you know, came back from having Burger King with my family. I go on my tablet to see that at the Ubisoft E3 res representation, it was revealed that Mario plus Rabbit's Kingdom Battle is gonna get a sequel, and I knew it. I knew from the very beginning that the game would probably get a sequel, because if you saw my E3 rumors video, link in the description, that was the very first prediction I made. It was that Mario plus Rabbit's Kingdom Battle was gonna get a sequel. And that was a rumor that I really heard no one making until, like, yesterday people started like, oh, what if there's a sequel to the game? And I thought to myself, well, it's a Mario game, though. Nintendo owns Mario, but Ubisoft also owns Rabbit. So I thought that the game was going to be revealed at um, Nintendo Direct. But no, it was revealed at the Ubisoft um, re representation at E3. So I'm going to react to the trailer. I saw, like, a Rabbit a rabbit version of the Luma from Super Mario Galaxy, which was just weird. So I'm going to react to the trailer now. I know nothing about the game. It's called Sparks of Hope or something like that. A Ubisoft game. What the heck is going on? Mario in space? Why does Rabbit Peach sound different? What the heck is going on here? Aluma. Horrifying. Well, it's not horrifying, but it's just a little uncanny. What am I watching? This feels so unrealistic. So who's the villain of this game? Well, I guess my aunt, I'm about to be answered. Well, this just went dark. What the hell is going on? I'm so confused. So I understand people were surprised that in the first game Mario used weapons, but these weapons are... Oh boy. What's going on here? Who the heck's this guy on the right? And a rabbit Rosalina. And they're playing the Mario Galaxy music. What the heck is going on? I feel like Nintendo would never do this in a thousand years. But if you give a game like this to Ubisoft, they would definitely do this. How long is this? Is that a tiger rabbit? The bombs. I'm so confused. It's so cool at the same time. Wait, is that a rabbit Bowser? I think that, no, is it? I couldn't tell. Who is this mysterious figure? Luigi has a bow and arrow. Mario plus rabbit sparks of hope. What the heck was that? Is it gonna be something else? Oh no, it's not. What the heck was that? Wait, hold on, I'll come back to this. So if you know nothing about Mario plus Rabbit's Kingdom Battle, the first game, I guess you could say it was pretty safe for Nintendo. Essentially the first game was just like, oh, and Mar the rabbits are coming into the Mario world and you're causing mayhem. And you know, it's just like, I guess you could say a normal Mario game, you know, just like, the world, you know, there's like three, I think there was like four different worlds. One was like, you know, the regular colorful Mario world. The second one was like a mixture between like ice and the desert. The third one was like uh, Halloween and all this stuff. There's booze everywhere, and the fourth one obviously was Bowser's Castle. But this, I was, I was when I heard when I thought of the idea of them making a sequel, I just thought to myself, oh, maybe the sequel might be like the first game, but you know, they're probably gonna expand more on things. But I did not know that the sequel was gonna be like a Super Mario Galaxy, whatever the heck, like 
what the heck is going on here? Like, they're leaving a ship and all this stuff. Also, where's Beepo? If you haven't played the first game, there's this little guy who helped you along the adventure named Beepo. He was like a weird little robot thing. And the, because this feels very different from the first game. Because in the first game, the story is relatively simple. You know, just like, there's this girl who's like in her, I, is it, I think it was like her basement. She's like a big Mario fan and all this stuff. And then the rabbits come out of nowhere with their time traveling washing machine and then just suck up all the Mario merchandise and somehow go to the Mario universe. And then her little droid thingamabob or Beepo has rabbit ears. I said it sound, I, I said it was red, rabbit, I said it was simple, but now that I'm saying it out loud, it doesn't sound that simple. But anyways, they're over here on a spaceship, like su some Super Mario Galaxy reference, which is probably the best Mario game in the world, Super Mario Galaxy, with like rabbit lumas, which might be like replacing Beepo because Beepo was like your little guide and he helped you in your battle. He was also like the little mouse you controlled during the battle. Like, what's going on here? And then there was like this rabbit who, in my opinion, looked like... Did it look like Bowser? I'm trying to get a good look of him here somewhere. No, not Bowser. Is he ba I want to see he's Bowser because Bowser has like red hair and you know he's like red stuff. Unless he's like Meowser, which is like a cat Bowser. He even has a tail and all this stuff. He looks like, like, what is this guy? And then we get this weird, mysterious figure, which is like the villain, which I don't even know what the heck's going on here. Like, this is insane for one. Wow. Yeah, Mario plus rabbits, what's it called? Mario plus rabbits, sparks of hope. Yeah, I felt like there's gonna be a trailer. I feel like there might be more rabbit characters. Um, since there's a rabbit Rosalina, I feel like human, Ros the regular Rosalina is gonna help on that adventure because in the first Mario plus rabbits game, it was, um, like, there was, like, eight different characters. Four of them were, like, the regular Mario characters. Mario, Luigi, Yoshi, Princess Peach. And then they had the rabbit, rabbits, I can't, I can't talk today. Rabbit counterparts, which was, um, Rabbit Peach, Rabbit Luigi, uh, Rabbit Mario, and what was the other one? Uh, Rabbit Yoshi. So I feel like if there's a Rabbit Rosalina, they might have the regular Ro Rosalina be here. Also, there's the Donkey Kong DLC, which I hope this game gets DLC, similar to the Donkey Kong DLC, where the Donkey Kong DLC was just, like, in the Donkey Kong world. I can't believe this game exists. Wow. Sparks of Hope. So, I... Did they re really... Did they say when the game would come out? I don't think they did. Um, yeah, but whenever that game comes out, I'm excited. So, um, thank you for watching my reaction, and, um, uh, goodbye. So I just finished recording the Sparks of Hope, my reaction trailer, until I saw that there's another gameplay trailer, so I'm going to take a look at this. Sorry for the expanded video. Okay, so we're on a beach. Okay. Is that rabbit, is that like a new rabbit Luigi? Huh. Oh, so Beepo is here. Okay. Why didn't she drive at Luigi's design? Are we gonna fight the bombs in this game? I wonder. Oh, so each Luma is for every. Oh, okay. That makes sense. Well, the battle mechanics seem really different from last time. Which is good. These the battle mechanics in the first game were pretty good. They're decently solid. Who the heck is this? <laughs> Rabbit Mario. So do they give you like a special boost or something? Oh, we already have box. We already have. I can't, I can't talk today. I'm so excited. I can't talk. Um, oh, in 2022. Okay, so this game's coming out next year. Uh, let me see the box art. Huh. Okay, so we already have box art for the game. And oh, Bowser's in the background. If you don't see, like, look really closely. The box art. And Bowser's in the background. So that kind of confirms my theory that we're gonna have some Bowser. Also, the girl, the weird little anime rabbit girl, was fighting with them. So. 
Well, I'm so confused. Like, this feels like a crossover with, like, a third game. Because it just, it's, it feels so out there. Like, we're not even in the Mushroom Kingdom. We're, like, in space or something. So, if you haven't played the last game, Bowser wasn't in the last game. He, during the whole entire the events of the first game, he was on a vacation. He was on a, a, a vacation. A, 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 he was on a vacation. Anyways, the, I guess you say the villain of the game is Bowser Jr., his son, and he like kidnapped this. We didn't kidnap him, but there was this little rabbit who can like fuse things together, which is the reason why Mario characters like fused with rab rabbits. And I feel like Bowser might join the fight. I mean, he's a very big character, so I don't presume they're gonna battle with them. Probably like in the final boss or something like that. But man, this game, wow. It's very different from the first game. I, w I wonder if that's too risky. But it looks fun, so I might get it when it comes out. You probably like respect. You probably should expect a review or uh, me like me having my first impressions video whenever it comes out next year. So I'm honestly really excited for this game. Anyways, uh, thank you for watching this, and uh, see you later.